welcome to the channel. I'm in Barnstable, North Devon, on the North Devon coast in the southwest of the UK. I am at the now empty Barnstable Civic Centre. I believe it was built in the early 60s. It used to house the BBC, the Town Council, Devon County Council, who I still believe are the registered owners of the property. It's the ugly tower block, I think it's affectionately known as. This is the former Barnstable police station that was shut down and mothballed not so long ago and moved to another location throughout the town. We have the magistrate's court as well. Registration of marriages and deaths also are in here. But it's a fairly old sized building. Quite tall, concrete construction. I'm still trying to find out some more information on this building as it's somewhere I've been. I used to go a lot as a child. They used to have a cafeteria at the top. I believe it was a staff canteen, then they opened it up to the public because you could have some beautiful views over the town at the time. So we're going past now the former, former Barnstable police station site and what's in frame now where the cells it's all been boarded up for security. They did have a lot of work done, a lot of reconstruction work inside and then it shut. So as usual, funds put to good use, not. I'm actually testing a gimbal that I've had for a long time. I'm filming this on a GoPro Hero 9 Black Edition. And I've paired that with an Inky Falcon electronic gimbal. I've turned the electronic image stabilization off on the GoPro and I'm relying solely on the gimbal. So it'd be nice to see what the footage is like after I film this. Police vehicles only, no unauthorized access. However, there are no gates, it's publicly accessible land. So I don't see myself as trespassing as I'm not within the confines of the building. <coughs> so these gates you see that are stainless steel clad or galvanized. They were the gates which went into the custody suite. So the Bar Specific Centre over its time has housed many offices and a few other subsidiary companies of Devon County Council. Quite a vast footprint really and the site that it stands on was known locally as Monkey Island. They used to have the Barnstable Fun Fair on this site many years ago. So we're now around the back of the Civic Centre. And part of the reason for this video in interest, something I've heard quite a lot from a few various sources, and it's something I'm still waiting to find out whether it's deemed classified information, official secrets act, or not many people know about it. But underneath the footprint of this building, there is believed to be a Cold War nuclear bunker. The bunker would have been used to house the town's council during a strike from the former USSR Soviet Union. Cold War, I believe, was from the 60s onwards. And then a lot of the Cold War warnings and safety systems were all stood down around the 1990s. But the Civic Centre, there's lots of stories I've heard that it has a bunker underneath. I've heard from a few credible sources that it is as big as the footprint of the building. So I would say 60 to 80 feet wide by 200, 300 foot in length. 
I don't know whether it's multi-layered or it's on one single plane however there is meant to be a bunker so I'm going to do some more inquiries and this video is going to be used possibly in my other video with that information but knowing a little bit about bunkers I've done a lot of research into World War II Royal Observer Corps and their nuclear monitoring um, stations after World War II which are early part of the early warning system and our civil defence system that was introduced in the 60s but knowing about a bunker the only thing or the only things that I've been looking for to give me some kind of an idea is this construction here So this brick built construction that sticks out with aluminium louvers on both sides suggests to me that those are air intake vents and exhaust vents for stale air so there will have to be an air circulation system that's installed below ground to then recirculate air throughout the bunker or the space that's deemed as a bunker. There's no access doors and the lid does not lift off. But what you'd expect to find normally with that kind of setup is a series of large diameter pipes. I would say minimum of 100 millimeters coming out the ground. You would have an int, probably two intakes and two exhaust pipes that would have been separated. Possibly if it was nuclear grade, like people suggest, you would expect to find some kind of a filtration system whether that's below ground or it has a, a cartridge type filter on the top of it but I'm going to make some inquiries I'm going to look into it I'm going to ask some questions because I'd like to know a bit more about Barnstable Civic Centre and add my little piece of history onto my channel for others to share in years to come because I think it would be quite nice to watch but the, it does appear that the site is up for sale I do believe at this time that Devon County Council will still own it until the time that it's sold the side portion which I believe is North Devon Council offices that's been sold and I believe that's going to be a retirement properties so we're now down at the side of the building on the rear elevation so there's the top and we're on the rear facing side and this is a sunken loading bay so this is where all the stationery would have come and all the stuff us taxpayers pay for must have skipped there for someone that wants to dumpster dive So in through these mesh doors, which are locked, it appears to be some kind of this particular door here, some kind of HVAC system. So inside there is another very traditional kind of Cold War era military-esque door with aluminium louvers and quite a few locks on that. And I'm guessing that that would have been air intake air exhaust or intake in that one because it's shielded and then at the rear that we saw previously would be the exhaust only speculation until i can get some facts but it would be nice to know so the believably the bunker ends or goes from here all the way to that end in width and then lengthwise there are a few drains in the ground but there isn't anything else that really gives it away i've not really personally done anything like this before but very intrigued it'd be nice to know and just nice to grab that little piece that slice of history 
and specifically Cold War era. There's lots of stuff on the World War II, but there's nothing really on North Devon. And I've done a lot of reading and it does suggest that local councils and county councils during the time, um, I, can't I can't remember the name of the operation, but it was in the 60s. And part of the strategy for the Cold War era there was our early warning defence system, we had the Royal Observer Corps that had observation lookouts and monitoring stations for air quality, purity. But then also local council, county councils were cut down into districts. And I think our district of Devon was 7S, 7 Sierra if I'm correct. And that would be split down to county council level and then I think you had commissioners or a group of towns councillors that were part of an early warning team but as a child I remember growing up in Sticklepath Barnstable which is just across the water up here and on my way to primary school I used to see old very thick style GPO telegraph poles and on top of those telegraph poles were air, air raid sirens and they were Cold War era air raid sirens and there were quite a few, Braunton had one on top of the, the parish church and they stuck out very well, they were a very kind of metallic grey completely weather resistant water sealed siren with two rotating drums and they were painted red and they were bolted on top of this massive telegraph pole and I know a few people that used to go around and test those to make sure that they worked and they used to have test sessions to make sure the sirens were functional and stories from family that within the civic centre here there used to be the Barnstable War Office I don't know whether that's true again that's only speculation but obviously during the Cold War era with the Soviets. If there was a Cold War, we would have had an early warning system and that would have been built up of Royal Observer Corps, radar, spotters, various other electronic pieces of equipment that would have given us test instrumentation to tell us that something had happened. That would then tear down to local county council level. And I believe that in the bunker there used to be a button and that button was pressed and that would activate the sirens throughout the town I don't know whether that's true or their sirens could have possibly each had a steel box with a locking padlock and an on and off switch where a local policeman would have been tasked with setting off each alarm in each borough or part of the town again only speculation but it's what I've heard but it interests me being dyslexic, being someone that's not very good academically on paper, I'm great with my hands, very good at thinking and puzzle solving, but it's little pieces of history and pieces of random information that really excite, excite my brain. And doing this video now gives me something to do in my evening, gives me a bit of an objective. And this building probably won't be here for long, you never know. But it'd be nice just to film it now to catalogue this building as it is and what information I can and put it out there on the internet for everybody else to see and then maybe some other geek or someone that has a significant interest and they can watch but this part of the building now has been purchased and I believe that's going to be retirement accommodation lots of old people there's lots of them we're all getting older I'll probably be in there myself one day But that's my tour of the Barnstable Civic Centre in North Devon. I'll post some links below with some GPS mapping coordinates and any information that I can find, I will put it in the description of the video. And if you have anything that you would like to add, please feel free to comment. Like the video if you enjoy it, share it with your friends and also hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.
Thank you.